But I'm in After Effects. I've got my image sequences that I've rendered of my UFO from Cinema 4D. I've got my, my Beauty Pass, which is the full render, and I've got my two object buffers. So when we've got an image sequence or a movie in After Effects, if we right-click one of these sequences and we go into the interpret footage, there's a whole bunch of important settings in interpret footage that we can change. So interpreting the footage is literally After Effects figuring out how to use this footage and what to do with it. So if I go into the main settings for it, the first thing we need to do is make sure the frame rate is correct. Now I've already done mine, so they're all at 25 frames a second. The other thing that's really handy in this situation is we've got a short um, a 50 frame, 2 second loop of a UFO. I want to animate that over maybe 30, 40, 50 seconds or a longer amount of time. So if I've got a movie or an image sequence, down the bottom of interpret footage, I can actually loop that movie file. So I can loop it as many times as I want to. Now, I'm just going to make an animation of a UFO flying through some city buildings. I don't know how long it's going to be at this stage. So I'm just going to say for this bit of footage, loop it 100 times. That's probably way more than I'm going to need. but um, And you can change this later if you need to. But I'll just put 100 in there for now because that's fine. The other thing that we can do is that if you've rendered your Cinema 4D UFO, if you've rendered it with a physical sky, you'll need to turn on the um, alpha channel for that render. So that will cut out the physical sky, it'll knock it out like a cookie cutter, so that you've just got the UFO, the lighting from the physical sky will still be affecting the UFO surface, but it means you won't have the sky in the background, because we're going to use our own cityscape photograph for this one. So make sure that that is on pre-multiplied. So pre-multiplied background, 25 frames a second, loop it 100 times. Now, I've got three image sequences here. Sometimes you have many image sequences. I don't want to have to go through every single one and change all these settings for every single one. So I'm going to make sure for this UFO new sequence, I've got all these settings correct. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to right click the same sequence again, go to interpret footage and I can remember that interpretation. Then I can select whatever other list of files I've got, I could have a whole bunch of them, in this case I've only got two. I can shift select the top to the bottom, right click them and go interpret footage, apply interpretation. So that's saying all that frame rate, all that alpha channel stuff, all the looping, apply that to all of these sequences. That's really handy when you've got 20 or 30 sequences in your composition. If I want to, I can double check. I can just go into that interpret and just make sure that's all correct. And it looks like it is. I don't have alpha channels in my multi-pass renders, so that's not an issue. But the looping is there and the frame rate is there. So that's a really important tool for managing movie files and image sequences in After Effects is the interpret footage setting. Thank mm -hmm.